Charlie, I don't know where to start this matter, Seth, but yeah, I guess we go talk. Um. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. How many times I talk your name? Or make I talk hello? <laughs> or make I talk fellow Ghanaians? Charlie, hmm. I don't know how to put this. I don't know. I don't know what I for do for Ghana people again for this industry inside or for this entertainment inside. Maybe I for just I for just stop. I think say Ghana people will make us stop. Yeah. Yo, every time there is propaganda, every time there is fake vibes, every time there is people trying to put square pegs in a round hole, there is people trying to fabricate things and put things where they're not meant to be just to make me look a certain way. And I'm always quiet, minding my business, just doing my music, making sure that I stay relevant and stay in there. That's the only way I can prove anything anybody is trying to fabricate wrong or anything anybody is trying to um, say about me, you know, to not manifest. All I do is hard work and I put in my 110 just to be able to, you know, um, survive the changing trends and the, 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 the different ways of doing things, different, different times, you know. So everybody has witnessed from the beginning of my career and from when I started get, uh, getting attacks and, you know, beefs from uh, uh, my, my biggest rival, Bandana. Now, since 2006 or even earlier, this man has dissed and sent different, different, different songs towards my direction. Most of it direct disrespect that I decided to just allow until that time where 2013, 2014, I thought, let's face this. Let's deal with this because enough of the misinformation of the youth, enough of the miseducation of the youth about me because I don't talk. Long story short, we've done this beef, we've come to a conclusion at the stadium on different occasions where we've tried to, you know, see who is who. Ghana came together, Ghana came out and thought that I was going to get slaughtered that night. And guess what? The next morning, the verdict came out on the front page of the graphic showbiz. And it was to um, most of the noisemakers shock, but the truth was out that you can't take me out, right? And every other time, there is some style to try and take me out. In these times, you people are trying to tell me that you would watch Shatawale go and clash my son, Stone Boy, who Shatawale started to diss and um, beef with because, and simply because he was my artist. So anything that's coming from Samini's camp for that matter was not good or was not... Um, um, yeah basically so yeah they had to beef that's been going on it's been going on but the real beef started from myself where he brought it to me and i had to deal with it as constructive as i could for the longest time so that i don't fall for the 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 the, the, the muds while trying to pay attention to what was going on down there end of the day he came in 2020 on showbiz the entertainment show with Nanama Mac Brown and the rest of the panelists and came and made a confession that everything he said about me was just jokes and it was a lie. Just like how I was trying to let you people, the whole industry and the whole nation understand that all those things that guy was saying about me were lies. You guys didn't listen. You guys did not pay attention. You guys thought it's about time somebody took off this guy. It's about time somebody cleared Samini off the scene. Guess what? I'm still here in 2020. And I expect my son Stone Boy to tell Shatawale that until he finishes the, what he started with me, he can't come down to his level to come and clash him because it is not his fight. It is not his beef yet. I come from 2003, 2004 with you, Bandana, when you did Mukuho and I did my album with Linda on it. So how do you then come to clash my son who came out in 2000 and, 
eight or something and how is that even fair how is that a fair comparison how is that any grounds for anybody to even want to and then asasi radio or asasi um multimedia i i believe that you guys know the history of ghana entertainment well 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 to 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 to, to um to not make such a conclusion so then in that case who who am i going to clash because i am also still in here and i still have issues with people especially if people have finally come out to come and say that everything they said about me was a lie and was fabricated and it's, they just did it because they wanted to trend okay what if i start to let's not even go there you know so we need to also have a face-to-face one-on-one for him to let me know that it was all jokes let's scrap it let's not take it serious you can't just go sit on tv and say it and brush it off and for our fake and uh, 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 uh um what do you call it hypocritical industry people to watch that comment pass like nothing happened somebody has come to come in uh, uh, um maybe uh make uh, uh make better out of something they did wrong some years back somebody has come to you know clear the air about rumors and fabrications about somebody's brand and you guys just let that pass and not talk about it so there are youth on the street who still believe that the things that this guy said about samini are true so until that one-on-one -on -one face to face clash that i called for since 2014 2013 anytime i did an interview that i want him face to face for him to call out everything i've done to him for me to also respond to that he never gave chance for based on the fact that i also never responded to him for about seven eight years when he was dissing me until he mentioned my parents name mentioned my family name and you know pussy samini and all of those things that he said and said different different things about me that made me feel like i had to do scatter bad mind one track and he came to shut everything down and up to today nobody has been able to respond to shut up uh scatter bad mind the way i want them to or i would have expected them to so you can't take me out of the race yeah you got tired for seeing fierce yeah so basically it's a nice morning i just woke up not too long ago uh i'm kind of five hours behind ghana right now and I'm still out here. I've been out here for almost five months, but I'm home. I'm home. So family thing, you know, nothing too, nothing too uh, alarming, nothing too pressurizing. So I'd like to say big up all the fans and tell Stone Boy to inform me personally about that clash. I don't have to hear it on the street and I don't have to hear it from Bandana before I hear it from Stone Boy. Because guess what? After my tweet, the next day, Bandana himself found my number and linked up and said that this and this and this is what I go on and they're about to do this. Do you understand me? Yeah. So now, I don't have a problem with him having a concept and an idea to try and make some, you know, moves. You understand? But call a spade a spade. Put a square peg where it needs to be let the round hole be you understand it yeah sometimes samini too has to talk sometimes samini too must rant yeah even though i'll just <laughs> i'll be careful with my choice of words and my mannerism and my demeanor and stuff but sometimes the ball charlie stone boy you know how me and you did yeah i did expect that this thing we you people plan like you go link me and tell me say this is what i want i don't expect bandana to be the one that linked me to tell me about it yeah so i still they wait for your call yeah you know be any giddy giddy yeah i still they wait for your call because if you hear this from them where you accept to do it with them no problem because i know you get them and i know say you go fit deal with it but if it be you 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 know go understand because the truth always has to be the truth how where how did it end up that all of a sudden it's beef and it has to be a clash and it has to be between you and shatawale it is a mismatch 
we know that even the first dance king uh, competition that you guys did at labadi beach that I, apparently bandana was part of it i was shocked because i had a gig at the bigger beach labadi beach uh, hotel and right after my gig i had to come back to come in you know help celebrate your win and i kept saying bandana comes from my days why is he in this competition with you guys so i even expected <laughs> i expected them to give it to him but then they gave it to you because yeah you proved yourself and i was happy but that is not the kind of thing we're talking about here the kind of thing we're talking about here me and you have rolled me and you have have lived you have seen what i have been through based on what was happening when this guy was doing what he was doing with me and to me so when the names come up when the things come up stone boy when you people day and you put the talk talk your things and i the expect say you go have my back you go hold my back and you go defend me like how i do when matter they come happen when you link me low key make we talk and then we will know how to handle things that's how i expect you to also deal with me when things are going like that you don't let me find out online and then after me i vex and things then i go realize say apparently you people all understand and you people know about what I'm going and what is about to go down. Um, sometimes, Charlie, you guys for me, I know. So say, if I hear the thing, it no go bore me. But big up though, big up. I can't wait for the clash and I can't wait to see the outcome. But I still insist that me and Shatawali need a one-on-one -on -one for him to say it in my face, in my presence, that the things he said about me were fabricated and that he just sit, did it just so just so that um things or whatever it's a 12 minute long video now i'm gonna cut it big up yourself at chip